Hi, and thanks for joining me for the class today. So today's class is particularly focused on working on strengthening into our core abdominals and our glute muscles. So we're gonna start the class in standing and warm up, and then we're gonna come down onto our backs, then onto our sides, and then cool down back onto our backs on the mat. So I hope you enjoy the class today. Remember, always work to a level that you feel comfortable with, because most importantly, we want you to enjoy it. Okay, so when you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by bringing those toes apart and those heels apart, so those feet are that hip width distance. Just to start with, we're gonna transfer that weight coming to the fronts of your toes and then back onto your heels. So just nice and slowly forwards and back, just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements. So that weight's going nice and evenly down through your feet. Knees are nice and soft, so not locked back. Hands up onto your pelvis very gently. Let's just tilt that pelvis forward and then tilting it back. So just a nice small movement forwards and back. And then again, just finding that midpoint between those two movements, so in that nice neutral position. Those ribs are soft, collarbones wide, and that neck nice and long and lifted from there, fantastic. So we're gonna start by floating our hands up to shoulder height, and we're just gonna rotate through our upper body. So we're gonna take a breath in. As we breathe out, we need to open one arm round and wide, and then we're gonna bring it up and over, back to the front. Good, opposite side, opening out. And lifting it up and back. Good, so we're gonna breathe out as you open out. Breathing in as you're rolling back. Good, and again, opening out, lifting up and around. Well done, and again, opening out, lifting up and back. Good, and again, rotating around, lifting up and back. Good, and again, opening out, and lifting up and back. Good, and again, opening out, lifting up and back. Good, last one each side, open around, Lifting around and back, good. Last time, and around and back, well done. And relaxing those arms back down, well done. And relaxing those shoulders there. Okay, so we're gonna work our legs a little bit. So we're gonna start by lifting one leg up, so just flexing that hip. So we're gonna lift up and lower. So this leg you're standing on, keep that knee nice and soft. We're lifting and lowering through that hip. So we can bring our arms in, just floating up to that shoulder height, float back down, and again, lifting and lowering. Well done, and again, lift up and lower. Good, and again, lift up and lower. Lift up and lower, well done, and again, lift up and lower. Now on this next one, if you can, we're gonna add in our hip twist. We're gonna lift up, open out through that hip, open those arms together, fold back and lower. Well done, so a little bit of a balance challenge here. Opening out, fold back and down. Well done, and again, lift up, open out, Fall back and down. Well done, and again. Lift up, open out, fall back and down. Well done, and again. Lift up, open that out wide, just as far as you can keep that control. Well done, last couple here. Opening out, fall back and down. One last time, lift up, open out, fall back and lower. Well done, and slide that leg back. Do the same on the other side. So just start with that leg lift. Hips staying nice and level, knees soft, we're gonna lift up and tap down. Well done, and again, lift up, tap down. So keep that pelvis level, lift up, tap down. We can bring those arms back in again, so just lifting up to that shoulder height, and down. Well done, and again, lift up and lower. And again, lift up and lower. Well done, lift up and lower. Very good, and again, lift up and lower. Now on this next one, let's introduce that hip twist. We're gonna lift up, open wide, fold back and down. So just open that leg as far as you feel you can control and then bring it back together. Well done, and again, lift up, opening out, fold back and down. Well done, and again, lift up, open out, fold back and lower, very good, and again. Lift up, open out, fold back and lower. Very good, and again, lift up, open out, Fold back and lower, last few here. Lifting, opening out, fold back and lower. That knee staying soft on that standing leg, well done. Open out, fold back and lower. One last time. Opening out, fold back and lower back down. Well done, very good. Okay, so we're gonna do into a little speed skater here. So we're gonna alternate sides, and we're gonna take one leg and sit it back behind, drop down and up. Switch sides, drop down and up. Dropping down, good. So we get a little bit of speed here, dropping down, and just drop down as low as you feel comfortable. Swing back, drop down, lift up, good. 
Good, and again. Just imagine your speed skating. <laughs> and back, well done. Drop back and up. And again, drop down, lift up. A few more here. Just as far as comfortable. Good, and again. Lovely, drop down, lift up. Well done, one more each side. Good, and again. And coming back to that style, well done. Okay, so let's bring our legs a little bit further apart. We're gonna go into our side plie here. So just feet turned out to that comfortable position. We're gonna start by taking a breath in. As we breathe out, dropping down, and then lift back up, good, and again. Drop down, and lift back up. Well done, and again. And up, now on this next one, we're gonna add a side bend, so we're gonna drop down. Reach over to one side, lengthen through that side, well done. Coming back to that start. Opposite side, reaching over and back, and then lifting back up. Good, and we're gonna lift and lower a few here. Good, and again, dropping down, lifting up. Good, now on this next one again, we're gonna add those side bends, so drop down, reaching over, lengthen through that side, well done. And then back to the start. Opposite side, good, and back to that start, and then back up. Let's do last few, so lift, dropping down, lift up. Good, and again. Last one, we're gonna drop down, hold that there, reach over, little side bend here, good. And back, opposite side, reaching over, and back, well done. And then lifting back up, well done. Now we're gonna rotate our feet around, so we're gonna keep them wide. Rotate into this lunge position here. So I'm gonna drop down into a lunge and then bring those arms forward with me. So dropping down, lifting up. Well done, and again. Drop down, lift up. So just dropping again down as far as you feel comfortable. Drop down, lift up. Good, now on this next one, a little extra challenge, we're gonna do eight little pulses. So we're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lifting back up, well done. Rotate those feet back forwards. We're gonna go the opposite direction. So opposite way, we're gonna go into those lunges again. So we're gonna drop down and lift up. And again, drop down, lift up. Dropping down, lifting up from here, well done. Nice and controlled, and back. Drop down, lift up. Now let's see if we can do that extra challenge of eight little pulses. So we're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lifting back up, well done. Rotate those feet back around, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna to come to the end of our mat, and we're gonna do a few roll downs from here. So take a breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down, rolling those hands, slowly down towards the floor. Take a breath in at the end there, then as you breathe out, gently coming back up into standing. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down, rolling those hands, slowly down towards the floor. Take a breath in at the end there, as you breathe out, restacking gently back up into standing. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down, rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Take a breath at the end there, and as you breathe out, gently restacking through that spine. Okay, let's try one more time, breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down, rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Good. Take a breath in there, and as you breathe out, Moving back up into standing. Well done, and relaxing those shoulders. Good, okay, so we're gonna come down onto our mat, onto our backs, to continue our class from there. Okay, so we're continuing the class here down onto our backs. So we're gonna roll feet and knees that hip width distance apart. Just to start with, I want you to tilt that pelvis forwards and back, just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements, so that pelvis in that nice neutral position. Those ribs are nice and soft, collarbones wide, and that neck nice and long and lifted from there. Okay, so we're gonna start with our one leg stretch movement. So we're gonna float one leg up into our tabletop position. Take a breath in, as you breathe out, we're gonna stretch one leg away, folding back and lowering back down. Good, and again, breathing out, reach the leg away, breathe in, fold back, and lower back down. 
So we're going to alternate sides here, reach the leg away, fold back and lower. Now we can either stay here, just alternating sides with that single leg, or if you can, we're going to float both legs up into that double tabletop. And same again, reach the leg away, fold back. So breathe out, reach away, breathe in, fold back. And again, breathing out, reach away, breathe in, fold back. And again, reaching away and folding back. Well done. Nice and controlled, still keeping that tummy nice and flat as you lengthen that leg away, alternating sides. Well done. And again, reaching away and folding back. Good. And again, reach away and fold back. Keeping that control. Well done. Reaching away and folding back. Well done. And again, reach away, fold back. And again, reaching away, folding back. And again. Good, now if you can for the last few, we could make it a little bit more challenging. Lift our head into abdo prep and breathe in for two and out for two. Breathing in and out. But if that feels too much, just go to that single leg or back to that double tabletop, stretching one at a time. Good, so breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Good, well done, last few. And out. Good, breathing in and out. One more, breath in and out. Coming back to that start, lower that head if it's lifted, lower those legs one at a time, back to that start position. Well done. Okay, so we're gonna bring in a little bit of a challenge into our abdominals here as well. And I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head. If you can, we're gonna float one leg and then the other leg up into that tabletop position. So what we wanna do is a little bit of a hold with our abdominals here. So we're gonna take a breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna lift up, hold that here if you can, and then stretch the legs out, fold them back, then lower the head. Now if that feels too much, just see if you can lift and hold from this position and you don't have to add the legs extending if you don't want to. So breath in, as you breathe out, lifting the head, stretch the legs away, breathe in, fold back, lower those heads down, good, and again. Lift up, stretch the legs, fold them back and lower down. So just keeping that head lifted, we're just held, holding that a little bit longer while we do that leg movement. Lifting up, reaching away, lift up or lower. But if you need to, you can just lift and hold that head, that could be enough. And lower, well done. And again, reach away, fold back and lower. Well done, and again. And down, last few, lifting, holding, and down, well done, and again, reaching away, folding back, and down, let's do one more time, reach away, fold back, and lowering that head back down, let's lower those legs one at a time, and bring those arms back down, well done. Okay, let's have a little hug, I think we've heard that, <laughs> knees in towards your chest, and hold that there, so just take a nice deep breath in and out here. On that out breath, if you can, just relax down into that stretch. That little bit further, breathing in. And out, relaxing down, well done. And again, breath in. And out, relaxing down into that stretch, well done. One more time, breathing in. And out, relax down into that stretch, well done. And then lowering those legs down, one at a time back to that start position. Okay, so we're gonna work into our scissors movement here. So a little bit of leg control, also challenging that lower tummy a little bit here as well. So we'll start by lifting one leg up into that tabletop position. Keep that knee at that 90 degree angle and we're gonna tap that foot down, lift up and lower. Opposite leg lifted, tap down, lift up and lower. And again, lift up, tap down, lift up and lower. So alternating sides, lift up, Tap down, up and lower. And again, lift up, tap down, up and lower. Now if that's comfortable here, keep going there. Or if you can, we're gonna raise both legs up into double tabletop. And the same again, we're gonna tap down, lift up. Tap down, lift up. Now really keep that tummy as flat as you can. Make sure your back isn't arching. If you start to feel that tummy doming, your back's arching, come back to that single leg option just for a little bit, reset, and then come back up again. Good, tapping down, lifting up. 
So breathe out as you tap down, breathe in, lift up. Good, well done, tapping down, lift up. Tap down, lift up, well done. Tap down, lift up. Very good, keep going here. Now a little bit similar to that one leg stretch, we've got one last extra option if you want to. We can go a little bit quicker and we can go tap, tap, tap just for those last few. So breathing in for two and out for two. Breathing in and out. Good, breathing in and out. Well done, breathe in and out. Good, breathe in and out. Last few, breathing in and out. One more time, breath in and out. And then we're coming back to that start position. Lower those legs down one at a time. Very good. Okay, so we're gonna bring in our obliques now with our abdominals, with our crisscross movement. So I want you to put your hands behind your head again here. And we're gonna lift up, so my right shoulder blade is going diagonally towards that left knee into that little crisscross movement and down. Good, and again, breathing out, lifting up and across and lowering. Good, and again, reaching across and lowering down. And again, and down. So I'm breathing out as I'm lifting up. Breathe as you lower. One more time. And down. Now either keep those feet down if that feels enough here, or if you want to, we can float both legs up into that double tabletop position. Hold that there and repeat the same again. But like I say, if that's too much, just keep those feet down as the other option. Good, breathing out, lifting up, breathing as you lower. That slight diagonal movement, just making those obliques work a little bit more. And down. Good, and again, and down, lovely. Lowering, and again, and down. Well done, repeating side to side here. And down. Good. One more each side. And down. And lowering that head back down, well done. And then lowering those legs one at a time, coming back to that start. Okay, so let's have a nice little cool down and stretch out through those sides. Arms down by your side or out to the side of you. We're gonna drop those knees over to one side. Turn that head to that opposite side if you can, gently rotating, then bringing those knees back up and then over to that opposite side. Opening out gently here, then bringing those knees back up, and then over to that opposite side. Opening out, well done. And then gently coming back up, and over to that opposite side, well done. Good, so we'll just go gently rotating side to side here. Drop those knees over, turning that head, well done. Coming back up and then over to that opposite side. Well done. Lifting back up, drop those knees over, turning that head, well done. And then gently coming back up and over. If we last you here, drop the knees over, coming back up. One last time, drop those knees over. And then coming back up to that start, bring those arms back down by your side, well done. Okay, so we're gonna come round onto our sides and we're gonna start here onto our elbow with our side bend. So I want you to have your elbow directly underneath that shoulder, okay, so to really take off that pressure of that shoulder. We have our knees just slightly in front of those hips here, but really think about keeping those collarbones nice and wide, nice and opened out. Okay, so we're gonna take a breath in here. As you breathe out, we're just gonna lift up those hips up into that side bend, good and then lift back down. So it kind of comes up into that diagonal movement. So breath in as you breathe out, lifting up and down. Well done. Now, if that feels okay, we can add that arm, but if not, just do the lift. So breath in, as you breathe out, we're gonna lift up, reach that arm above your head, and then lowering back down. Good, and again, lifting up, reaching up, and down. Good, and again, lifting up, and lowering. Good, last couple here, reaching up and down. One more time. Good, and down. Now we're gonna keep that arm down here. We're gonna lift up again into that side bend. And if you can, we're gonna hold this here. And while we're holding it, we're gonna do a few little clams. So lift up that top knee, lifting 
and lowering. Good, let's just do five more if you can. So we're gonna go five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, lowering those hips back down. Very good. Okay, so let's grab that thicker block and we're gonna come down all the way down onto our sides. So just resting your head, just support it with if you're using a small towel, pillow, or the block there as well, whatever feels comfortable for you. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna stretch out both legs, keeping those hips stacked, feet just in front of you here. And we're gonna start with our toe tap forwards and back. So we're gonna lift up through this top leg, and we're gonna tap that foot in front, lift it up and over, and tap it behind. And again, lift up and over, tap in front, and lift up and over, tap it behind. Good, and again, lift up and over, tap in front, Lift up and over, tap behind. And again, lift up and over, tap in front. Up and over, tap behind. Well done, and tap in front. Lift up and over, tap behind. Well done, and tap in front. Lift up and over, tap behind. Good. So imagine you've got that box on that lower leg, you're lifting it up and over that box, tapping it in front, lift up and over, tapping behind. So really working those glutes but that control through that center as well. Well done, lift up and over, tap in front. Lift up and over, tap behind. Lift up and over, tap in front. Lift up and over, tap behind. Good, and again. Lift up and over, tap behind. Lift up and over, tap in front. Good. Let's do one more. Up and over, tap behind. Up and over, tap in front. And then we lift and lower through that leg. Well done, bend those knees up. Let's just drop that leg in front for a minute, have a little stretch out here. Let's just rest that top leg. While we're doing that, we can lengthen through that lower leg and do a few little pulses of that inner thigh here while we're just resting through that top leg. So just breathe in and out. And again, breathing in and out. Good, well done, one more time, breath in and out and then relaxing that leg back down, well done. Okay, so as we did before, we're gonna straighten both legs out, keep those hips stacked, and we're gonna lift this top leg up and out to the side, just as far as comfortable, and then lower that leg down. And again, lifting up and lowering. So toes lifting up, flex the foot to lower. Point the toes to lift up, flex the foot to lower. And again, lifting and lowering. Well done, and again, lifting and lowering. So point the toes to lift up, flex the foot to lower. Point to lift up, flex to lower. Well done, and again, lifting and lowering. Point to lift up, flex to lower. And again, lifting and lowering. Well done. Good, now on this next one, we're gonna lift up, hold that there. We're gonna do a little circle round one way. Good. And let's change direction. Ooh, I feel that burn, well done and then lifting and lowering that leg back down. Well done, bend those knees up. All right, let's give those legs a little rest here. We're gonna drop my block down onto the floor, have my head at the front of it, arms out in front, and we're gonna go into our arm opening stretch here. So just take a breath in, as you breathe out, we're gonna lift up through this top arm, opening around and back, just following that head, just rolling on that block, and then gently coming back to that start. And again, lift up through that top arm, Opening out, coming around and back, just as far as you feel comfortable. And then gently coming back to that star. And again, lift up through that top arm, opening out, round and back. And then gently to that start, good. And again, lift up through the top arm, opening around and back. And then coming back to that start, good. Just do a few more here. Remember, bend that elbow slightly if you need to. Don't pull through your shoulder too much. We're gently rotating around and then slowly coming back to that start. And again, lifting up, opening around and back. And then back to that start, good. And again. Lovely, one last time. Lift up through that top arm, opening out, coming around and back. And then back to that start, well done. Okay, so we're gonna come up and over onto the opposite side now. Do the same again, so we'll bring our block with us, but we're gonna start with that side bend as we did before. So again, as before, having that elbow directly underneath that shoulder, really to sort of take that pressure slightly. 
and knees are just in front of those hips. Okay, we're gonna make sure we're nice and wide, nice and tall through those collarbones as well. Okay, so we take a breath in. As we breathe out, we're gonna lift up those hips. Good, and then lower back down. And again, breath in as you breathe out. Lift up through those hips and lower. So as I said before, that might be enough, just lifting and lowering. If that feels enough, then stay there. Or if you can with this top arm, breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna lift up, reach up and over, and then slowly lower back down. Good, and again, reaching up and over, and lowering back down, well done. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, reaching up and over, and lower back down. Good, and again, reaching up and over, and lowering back down. Last couple, reaching up and over, and lowering back down. One more time here with the arm if you're using it. Good, and then back down. Well done. Now on this next one as we did before, we're gonna lift up again, hold that there if you can this time, and we're gonna lift that top knee into our clam. So lifting and lowering. Well done, let's see if we can do five more. So we're gonna go five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, and lowering back down. Oh, and then let's take that pressure off that shoulder and come all the way down. Well done. Okay, so we're going to straighten both legs out here. So those hips are slightly flexed, those feet are just in front of you. Hips stacked and we're going to do our toe tap forwards and back to begin with. So we're going to lift this top leg and we're going to tap that foot in front. Lift it up and over and tap behind. Lift up and over, tap in front. Lift up and over, tap behind. Good, and again, lift up and over, tap in front. Lift up and over, tap behind. And again, lift up and over, tap in front. Up and over, tap behind. Good. Lift up and over, tap behind. Lift up and over, tap in front. So imagine you've got that box on that lower leg. You're lifting it up and over that box, tapping in front, up and over, tapping behind. Really controlling what's happening through that center as well as we're lifting over, tapping back. Lifting up and over, tap in front. Lift up and over, tap back. Lift up and over, tap in front. Well done, and again. Lift up and over, tap in front. Up and over, tap behind. A few more here, well done, controlling that movement. Tapping back, good. Lift up and over, tap in front. Good, and again, tapping in front. Lift up and over, tap behind. Well done, one more time. Lift up and over, tap back. Up and over, tap in front and then lift and lower through that top leg. Oh, well done. <laughs> Drop that leg in front, let's have a little stretch out there. While we're resting through that top leg, we can lengthen through that lower leg and just do a few little pulses of our inner thigh here. So just breathing in and out. Good, and again, breathing in and out. Well done, breathing in and out here. Just pulsing through that lower leg while we're just giving that, little, that top leg a little rest here. Well done, breathing in and out. Good, and then lowering that leg back down, very good. Okay, so as we did before, we're gonna straighten both legs out again. Feet just in front of you so those hips are stacked. We're gonna start with this top leg and we're gonna lift and lower through that top leg. And again, we're lifting and lowering. If you can, we'll point the toes to lift up, flex the foot to lower. And we're just lifting and lowering through that top leg. Well done. Keeping those hips stacked, lifting and lowering. And again, lifting and lowering, well done. Lifting and lowering through that leg, well done. Good, lifting and lowering. Really working into those glutes, well done. Last few here, lifting and lowering. Good. Well done, now on this next one, little challenge, you're gonna lift up, hold that there. Little circle round one way. Good, and change direction. Feeling those muscles working, good. And then back to that start and lowering that leg down. Oh, well done, bend those knees up. All right, let's give those legs a little rest again. Drop that block down to the floor, head at the front of it, arms out in front. I'm gonna go into our arm opening stretch. So we're gonna lift up through that top arm, opening out through that chest, just coming around and back, rotating through that upper body and then gently back to that star. And again, lift up through that top arm, opening out, coming around and back, and then back to that star, good. And again, lift up through that top arm, following that head, just rolling on that block, 
and then gently back to that start good so we're just opening up through that chest as before don't pull through that elbow so don't pull that shoulder too much bend the elbow if you need to so coming around and back and gently back to that start good and again lift up through that top arm opening around and back and then gently back to that start well done and again lifting up opening around and back and then back to that start good last few here and back to that start well done and last one here lift up through that top arm opening around and back and then back to that start position very good okay so we're going to come back around onto our backs now so just pop that block back again and come round onto our backs feet and knees back to that hip width distance apart if you need to just tilt that pelvis forwards and back again just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements so we're in that nice neutral position that cause gently engaged from here arms relaxed down by your side and we're going to go into our bridge from here so we're going to take a breath in as you breathe out we're going to tuck that pelvis under lifting up into that bridge well done breath in here and as you breathe out slowly coming back down good and again breath in as you breathe out tucking that pelvis under lifting up into that bridge breath in here then as you breathe out slowly just articulating that spine gently back down onto the mat good and again tucking that pelvis under lifting up breath in here then as you breathe out slowly walking that spine back down good now on this next couple we're going to add in some arm raises so we're going to lift up into that bridge i want you to gently float those arms up and above your head and then we're going to slowly walk that spine gently back down onto the mat again and then bring the arm back down to join okay it's so a little upper body stretch there as well so we're going to lift up into that bridge again raise those arms up and above your head just as far as comfortable and then gently walking that spine back down and then float the hands down to join good and again taking that pelvis under lifting up float the arms up and back good and then walking that spine gently back down and then float the hands back down to join good last couple here tucking that pelvis under lifting up reach those arms up and above your head gently walking that spine back down and then float the arms back down let's do one more time stacking that pelvis under lifting up float the arms up and above your head and then walking that spine slowly back down and float the hands down to join well done okay so let's just stretch out through our bottom muscles now so we're going to put one foot onto that opposite knee allow that leg just to relax open there if that's enough of a stretch then just stay there or if you can we're going to bring the other leg up and towards you just as far as you feel comfortable then we're going to hold this stretch here so just breathing in and out here on that out breath if you can just relax down into that stretch just that little bit further breathing in and out good and again breathing in and out from here so just relaxing down into that stretch all done holding that there very good and then just slowly lowering that leg back down do the same on the other side so opposite foot onto the other knee allow that leg just to relax open here if that's enough of a stretch then again just stay there or if you can we're going to bring the other leg up and towards you just as far as you feel comfortable and then we're going to hold this stretch here so again breathing in and out good and again breathing in and out relaxing down into that stretch so a little bit further if you can breathing in and out from there well done holding that stretch good relaxing down and then lowering that leg back down good then we're going to stretch out through our hamstrings now so knee up to the ceiling lengthen out through the back of the leg feel that stretch through the back of the leg there Use your hand just to support that leg and we're going to hold this stretch so breathing in and out holding that stretch there well done and then if you can we're going to point and flex through the ankle gently moving through here good and then holding that stretch again breathing in and out well done holding that stretch there 
and then just lowering that leg back down. Do the same the other side, knee up towards the ceiling, lengthen through the back of the leg, feel that stretch through the back of the leg there, you can just use your hand to support that leg, stretching through the back, well done, breathing in, and out, good, breathing in, and out, good, and then we're just gonna point and flex through the ankle again here, well done, just gently moving through, And then holding that stretch again, toes pointing up towards the ceiling, well done. And then just gently lowering that leg back down, very good. Okay, so just slowly coming back up into sitting. So just sitting comfortably, either with your legs crossed or legs out in front. Relaxing those shoulders down from there. We're gonna bring those elbows in towards our side, keep those shoulders down. And we're just gonna open those hands out, just gently opening out into that chest and then falling back. And again, opening out and back. And again, open out into that chest and folding back. So just breathing out as we open out, breathe in as you fold back. Good. Now on this next one, we're gonna bring those arms wide. So we're gonna open out, reach those palms away and then fold back together. Good, and again, opening out, reaching away and folding back together. Good, and again, open out, reaching away and fold back together. Good, last couple here, opening out, reach away and fold back. Good, one more time, open out, reach away and folding back, well done. And relaxing those arms back down, very good. And so this time we're gonna reach our hands up towards the ceiling, bring those hands behind your head and we're gonna do a little side bend and back. Opposite side, and back. Reach those arms up again. Coming back to behind your head, and a little spine twist around, and back. Other side, and back. Reaching up, good. Hands behind your head again. Little side bend, and back. Other side, and back. Reaching up, good. Last time here, dropping down. Rotating to one side, and back. And the other side, and back. Reach those arms and then relaxing them back down. Well done. Relax those shoulders here. It's just a few shoulder rolls there. And then dropping them down. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the class today. Thanks for joining me and see you again soon.